How you guys doing? It's Chief from Spreadshot Games. Big video trend right now amongst, I guess, our community is the news of G4 getting rid of Attack of the Show and X-Play, what a lot of people consider to be, well, in reality, pretty much cons are the channel's last two gaming shows. Um... I was just going to share my opinions with this, because I've kind of had a strong opinion for it in the past. Not a necessarily super hateful one, but one that's been steadily <laughs> over the past couple of years. Uh, when I first saw G4, it was back in middle school, and it was actually tech tv and it had x-play was the big show that drew me but it also had robot wars which was pretty badass and it had a lot of shows just with i don't even remember what they're called but um i think there was a show called like tech tv.com or something like that and it 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 had um what's that guy george off Kaisley or whatever his name is he's like a games journalist along with some other co-hosts. That was a good game show. There were just shows that had um, a lot of stuff, just about tech stuff in general. Attack of the Show had lots of neat things on there, like tricks to make cool visual effects and like your own indie films and stuff. And I thought that was really neat. And as I saw, as the channel got older, or I got older, um, you know, it got switched to G4, and... At the beginning, it was nice. There was, like, Cinematech, which is just video game footage and stuff. There was a show, I can't remember the name of it, but they also did ratings. It was two guys. I forget what the hell that show was called, but that show was cool. There, It, it was definitely, definitely game-related. There were a lot of cool people in there that knew stuff about games. As I watched uh, Adam Sessler throughout television, throughout the internet, and stuff like that, I found he had a pretty good handle on the games industry. His opinions really, really matched mine, and some opinions he had actually made me look at things in a different light. Um, and there were some things that he would say that I didn't necessarily agree with. Morgan Webb was a pretty decent host. She was a great, actually, she's a great TV host. I thought some of her opinions towards gaming were kind of dry um but i thought she was a great television host she worked well with adam they made good they made x play good in my opinion um a lot of the people that worked at x play in the early years were great i think some of the newer people are still really good or people that have been there for a while but there's a bunch that aren't and we'll get to that later but you know, back in the day, it was very, it was very games focused. It was very, it was very humor focused, which is totally lost. And like nowadays, I think the funny stuff that's on there now is pretty much stupid. In fact, I don't even know what the hell's funny on any of those shows now. Not necessarily X Play because I don't watch it that much, just because I don't have cable or whatever. But Attack of the Show, I quit watching a long time ago, just because I got fucking fed up with it um and the biggest i honestly would put the demise of the g4 network all on this and i don't care who this pisses off because this is my opinion and if you think i'm wrong i don't fucking care but olivia munn on attack of the show ruined just honestly everything like is if you had a chart and it's like pff, olivia's hiring and then just it just went down from there and it's not that i don't like her as a well i don't but it's not that i just had something against her i'm like oh girls gamers are stupid or she's just an actor that's whatever the fuck and they just pay her to be a pretty face and stuff like that even though i like i pretty much know that already the thing about it was attack of the show was a live television show with host that are supposed to be host and host a television show and that's what you know you're supposed to do there comes a point where it's either like if you want comic relief or somebody in there to just do something and that's what they put Olivia in for at least make her like read a script that's all she had to do is read a script and she couldn't fucking do that 
that it was so much shit that she would just go off on tangents. It was like watching a fucking six-year-old child with fucking ADD on television, where something would come to a point, and there's a fucking schedule on a television show of things you have to meet. I remember watching that show so many times, and at the end of the show, they're just like, well, we didn't have time for this, maybe we'll get it another time. And it's mostly because it was a live show, filmed all in one take, with short commercial breaks, which were filled with dumbass banter between the hosts, of her just interrupting with dumb shit. And, you know, some of it fell on Kevin, but mostly it was Olivia Munn. And I was like, that is so ungodly, unprofessional. Like, I'm all for having fun and stuff like that, but it was, it was fucking obnoxious to watch that. And it made me, it made me quit watching the show. I, I just couldn't handle it anymore. Two distinct things that really stick out in my mind, um... One week they had a thing where they're just like, we're going to show some Lego Star Wars footage. And every episode that week, she blabbered on about stupid bullshit that sucked up so much time that they never showed through the whole week. Five days of programming. Never saw the damn thing. And I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a huge Lego Star Wars fan. It wasn't like, man, I really want to see that. But it's just the fact that they didn't get to it because your co-host was so fucking bad that she sucked up time with dumb shit that you couldn't get to stuff that was supposed to be plugged on your show. And the other thing, and I found a video that's not great quality of this, but she interviewed David Jaffe at E3. I don't know which one. But watching it, it's so horrifically unprofessional and retarded. It makes me wonder how anybody like that could even have a job. And I know she went to The Daily Show and that fucking news drama show and shit. And she's in, like, a movie or something. And thank God for that, because she needs a fucking script to stop whatever idiot fucking gerbil smashing the fucking wall in her brain to just read something and go with it. And... Thank God for editing, because I don't know how the hell that, how she is on a set of something else. Hopefully she's gained some fucking common sense and, you know, moved on and actually become a decent person for show business. But she just made me stop watching Attack of the Show. X-Play got away from its roots a little bit, at least with humor, I'd still say it's a gaming show. I still think a lot of the people on there are decently gamers. Um, Attack of the Show just kept putting people in there that were just actors and whatever. And that I never. That's why I never picked it back up. But the the host on X Play have stayed concisely, you know, centrically gamer. Blair Herder, I think, is a, a good host. Um, he did something on, like, MTV or something for just games before he worked for X-Play. So, I thought that was nice. G4 also had a podcast called, um, uh, Feedback. And that, that was really, really cool. I, if you watch that, it was great. They canceled that at the, I'm not sure when, but they, Adam Sessler used to be the host of that. He passed it to Blair Herder. They'd have um, developer interviews, special guests and stuff on there. It's really, really good. A lot of decently intelligent conversations about video games that were just nice to listen to. Game enthusiasts talking about games and people that had an insight in the business talking about games. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't so much PR and plugging. It was actually like an honest opinion. There was news. There was... And it wasn't brought to you in this, like, flashy, hey, 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 today, gamers, 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 do you like blah, 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 get ready for Modern Warfare bullshit, Halo, you know, Mario, da 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 thumbs up, great. It was just like, just like, hey, this is happening, what do you think about that, da 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 It was a cool conversation of game enthusiasts, at least they did a good job of being game enthusiasts. Um, if they weren't, because I've heard some people say everybody on that show was fake and never liked games anyway, which I don't believe. I think there were a lot of people that liked games, but, you know, it was just, it was nice to see 
them sit down and do that. And whatever the hell G4 is going to be, if it's going to be Spike TV 2, or whatever the hell it's supposed to be, you know, less nerd, more whatever the fuck. And I, I don't even know why... I don't even know why our culture goes by that, of just, like, I'm a gamer, or I'm a nerd, or nerds rule, and, like, that that shit's so stupid now, I don't even understand what the fuck, it's just ridiculous, it's going away from less, less nerd to more men shit of what I read, I, I don't, I don't know, if, if you want to make it less, like, Xbox magazine and more like men's health. Uh, who who cares? I, I've been done with the channel mainly because I don't have cable or satellite. But I was done before that. So I know I talked a lot of shit on Olivia Munn, but the channel just lays to it needs to be laid to rest. Someone like it's 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 dead now. It's on life support. They're just pulling the plug, pretty much, in my opinion at least. But I honestly think a lot of the good, I wouldn't say games coverage, because a lot of us don't have very much insides into the business and stuff, but a lot of cool stuff that I like to watch pretty much comes from people on YouTube. Um, it's less professional and, you know, DIY, but it's cool to hear, you know, actual enthusiasts talk about stuff they like. Um, I will say, honestly, uh, I watched one of Sessler's soapboxes from Adam Sessler, and he was talking about game journalism in general, and how to kind of get into the business, and that's not my dream to get into games business. I don't want to make games. I mean, it'd be cool. You know, I I, I don't want anything to do with, with video games as a business. It's a hobby to me. And it's a hobby I like. I like to play. I like to read about. I like I like to be immersed in that world and stuff. But I like to be immersed in it in my own sense. The culture itself, I don't identify with a lot of other gamers. We have, all of us have very differing opinions. Um, I disagree with a lot of stuff other people say that like the same things I like. But it's just, it's it's a me thing. And that's why I like it. I'm, I like to share things, and I like to watch things that other people share, but it's just, it's concentrically me. I think the culture thing, I don't get off on it too much, but it's very much me. But he had this interview, or not an interview, just something he made, and it was just, and he was talking about how to become a game journalist, or just how to do, or write, or whatever, about something that you're passionate about. And I'm really, really passionate about just gaming you know it's not the most important thing to me i'm going to school for something completely different and totally unrelated to video games all in general and that's what i want to do as a career but this is just a hobby to me it's like someone who fucking hikes or kayaks or whatever the hell and like i mean i like doing stuff like that too but this is something easier for me to do so i can do it in the comfort of my own home without having to do a lot of you know dust a lot of shit off or pack up or go anywhere and stuff, and it was just, it was in a thing like that that actually inspired me to do something like this, talk to a camera, um, you know, get, get some things together, uh, you know, it had nothing to do with me of retro collecting, but actually, you know, sharing my enthusiasm for other people and seeing how well I could do it, actually, pretty much a big stem from that came from that video he made, and, I mean, Thank you, Adam Sessler, for doing that, because it really inspired me, you know, to just, that he said, if you're true to your, you know, pretty much if you're true to yourself, and if you can practice writing, and write about something you like, um, just keep doing it, and naturally it'll unfold, and hopefully that's what this channel becomes for me. I'd really like to get into some reviews on this channel, which, uh, bear with me, it might be some time. But I really like to get into that. Um, and just again, I'm just going to conclude with that, even though I ranted about it a lot. Um, and I don't want this channel to be all about hating on a bunch of stuff. But, you know, in the end, uh, thanks, Adam, for making, you know, making that soapbox. It, you didn't have everything to do with why I'm talking to a flip HD in front of a window right now. 
but it definitely helped, and, uh, you know, keep doing what you're doing, or retire, because you deserve it, man. I thought you were a great host, and it's unfortunate what happened to something that you were a part of, but, yeah. Remember the good memories, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm out, guys. See ya.